Howdy again, everybody. This is Doc with Therofan, and of course, the big news this week was uh, all about maximum security and the fact that, uh, well, his long-awaited return to the races in the Pennsylvania Derby was thwarted by colic, which had most of us in the racing world doing this. But of course, you know, there's been a lot of questions about exactly what type of colic he has, what caused it, and uh, you know, what is kind of long-term prognosis is, what they did to potentially treat it, how do they treat it, all of those questions. And of course, Therofan is here to answer all of those questions for you as we once again dive into some medical terminology and medical procedures here as Doc describes nephrosplenic entrapment. So before we dive into exactly what type of colic Maximum Security had and what caused it, a quick trip through medical terminology land to understand the terms we are using. First off, colic is a symptom of a problem, not a condition itself as some may think. It simply means abdominal pain that can be caused by anything. Normally we associate it with something wrong with the gastrointestinal tract of horses, but it can be due to any issue in the abdomen. Nephro is a term that refers to anything involving the kidney. Splenic refers to anything involving the spleen. A ligament basically is just a piece of strong fiber-like tissue connecting things. So we put it all together and the nephrosplenic ligament is a small band of tissue that connects the left kidney to the spleen in the horse's abdomen. With all that understood now, let's look at what happened to maximum security. He had what is known as a nephrosplenic entrapment, sometimes also called left dorsal displacement. While causes may vary, what occurs is the large colon starts to move towards the dorsal or spine area of the horse, and then kind of slips up and over the nephrosplenic ligament. You can see this here in these great models from a program called the glass horse. Sometimes the colon will just slip back down and no harm is done. Other times it can get pinched over the ligament and then gas builds up making it hard for the colon to slide back over the ligament and into its normal position. Think of a really, really bad cramp you might have had in your side at some point. This is basically what the horse feels and shows signs of discomfort over. After the diagnosis is made, using a combination of rectal palpation, ultrasound, listening for trapped gas in the gut, blood work, or a combination of any of these methods, various treatment options are available. Treatment options usually begin with what is called medical management unless the condition appears so severe surgery is immediately warranted. While I do not know the exact treatment protocol Maximum Security underwent, it sounds like medical management did correct the condition. It involves first giving intravenous fluids, a sedative, sedative? No, not a sedative, a sedative, and drugs to alleviate pain. Another drug is sometimes used that is designed to cause the spleen to contract. This reduces the size of the spleen and thus allows the colon to drop back down to its normal position. If this doesn't work, a short-acting general anesthetic is used to allow the horse to lay down, and then he or she is gently rolled over to attempt to get the colon to slip back over the ligament and back into its normal spot. Finally, if all of those options don't work, general surgery can be performed to pull the colon back to its normal spot. This is often only done in cases of long-standing colic, lack of response to medical management, or if the horse appears in extreme distress or suffering severe complications from the colic. If a horse is found to have repeated episodes of this type of entrapment, a surgery can also be done to basically remove or close that space between the spleen and the kidney, thus preventing the condition from being able to recur again. Recovery times from treatment vary, of course, but usually a horse can return to full competition without any long-term effects. There is a downtime that is required for recovery though, so this is not the type of thing where a horse can just recover and start heavy training again in the next week. And I uh, hope that helps answer everybody's questions as far as exactly what this type of colic is and exactly uh, what we kind of do to try to help treat it uh, and potentially prevent it from occurring in the future if there were cases where there was uh, recurrent episodes of this. So nobody really knows exactly where maximum security is going to show up next. He potentially still can train up to the Breeders Cup, although obviously the, the window is getting shorter and shorter now for those types of things. Uh, and according to the owners, we still will see him as a four-year-old, but after this episode, who knows, maybe uh, you will see him 
whisked off to the breeding shed. We just don't know. Uh, if you have any further questions about uh, is nephrosplenic entrapment or any other topic that you would like Thorofan to cover here, certainly drop us a line, media at thorofan.com, or certainly uh, put it in the comments of the Twitter posts or um, the YouTube videos. Wherever you happen to see this, there's always a comment or a reply section, so be sure to put your questions in there, and we at Thorofan will work to answer them as best we can. So I'm Doc for Thorofan. I hope everybody still enjoys the wonderful Pennsylvania Derby card that is going to be going on this Saturday. I hopefully should be there, barring any emergencies here, so I might see you there and we'll uh, chat up some horses. Until next time, who knows what we're going to be covering next on Therofan, but if it involves racing, it involves education, and it involves you as the fans, I guarantee you the only place to find it is right here at Therofan.